In this video, we will learn how to use the counting index variables in Python loops. We will begin by seeing how numbers behave in the index, and then use the lists to print interesting designs. We create the index list using the print command. Notice that the print command does not need Tina, since we aren't drawing anything. Running the program creates a list of 10 numbers. The number of repetitions is 10, but the actual numbers are 0 through 9. Counting variables start with 0 in most programming languages. Let's say we want to draw a repeated pattern. We would start drawing before we move, in other words, in the 0 position. There are many reasons why counting from 0 is efficient. If we want to print 1 through 10, we have a couple of options. We can write the index with a specific beginning and ending value. The ending value of 11 isn't printed, but it does stop the loop. We can also change how i acts within the body of the loop. We reset the range to 10, then tell the program to print a value equal to i plus 1. Now let's put the counting variable to work in a drawing. We're going to draw 100 lines, so let's set the range from 1 to 101. We don't need to print the list, so we erase that line. Let's have Tina go a distance of i, which will change each time, and turn 90 degrees left. Since we are drawing, we need the show command. And now we have a square maze. Notice how the line length increases by 1 each time. Let's have a little fun with this design. Change the angle from 90 to 89. We just created a vortex. A change of just one degree made a big difference in the design. You can change any part of this loop to make all kinds of interesting patterns. Adjust the width and add a height to make a 3D printable. In this pattern, we multiply i times 5 each time. You can use all kinds of math operations and expressions with the counting variable. You'll learn a lot by playing around. In our next video, we will learn how to set parametric variables.